Dr. Sonia MD, founder of Rise in Boulder, Colorado. Today I'm going to check in about really what I am referring to when I say biomechanics of cycling and kinetic chain. So in the orthopedic and engineering world, when we talk about kinetic chain and biomechanics, connect, think kinetic movement, dynamic, chain linked, like a chain linked fence. So how, so we're thinking about, and we're looking at assessment, how movement is linked together. So for example, patient comes in with knee pain. Um, I'm not looking just at their knee. I'm looking at the hip, the lower back, shoulders, everything, you know, from head to toe, how this is all dynamically linked together. Um, from a biomechanical standpoint, a lot of times we talk about the integration. So when we're looking at cycling, that kinetic chain in that assessment gets a little more complex. When we think about, and if you look at the body dynamically, you can see very quickly that the center of the biomechanics are the core, is the core. When I talk about core, what I'm referring to is not just abdominal muscles, but the box. I like to this little model of the Rubik's Cube. The box, the front of the box, are the abdominal muscles, the red, the yellow, pelvic floor, the orange is the lower back or lumbar spine, the white is uh, the diaphragm, and then on either side are the hip muscles, the hip abductors. So when we assess or I assess the kinetic chain from head to toe, the central portion of that is the core. And the core is not just forward and backwards, side to side, there's also a twisting motion. In biomechanics, we call that tri three planes, three planes of motion. So as the biomechanical assessment is occurring, what I'm looking at is how the core is interfacing with the rest of the body and the bicycle. And in particular, and one of the most important components of that is the yellow, the pelvic floor. The, the central pivot point of the body onto the bike. Now, um, this is very dynamic. When, when individuals have a professional bike fit, typically the classic professional bike fit just looks at one's geometry, uh, what the length of the thigh and the leg or the torso is. And the bike fitter typically takes measurements and then says you should use this length of stem, this uh, length of tube here, and then typically not taking into account the dynamics of and the kinetic chain of uh, the body. Uh, for example, if an individual has uh, you know, pain in the lower back, you know, what is that cause? Um, you know, if we go over here to look at the spine model, when I'm looking at that kinetic chain, it's not just as simple as looking at the length and proportions of the body. It is how the body is connecting or articulating with the bicycle. This is a prototype of the um, uh, specialized bike saddle I was on the design team for. Um, interviewing countless women and how they interface with the bicycle, problems they've run into and examining and troubleshooting um, and coming up with a, a design that a lot of women are very happy with. So when we look at this, and this is the base of that core, the pelvic floor, and how it connects with the saddle. Uh, and that's a connection that is also dynamic. So when a rider, um, you know, climbs or goes down into the, or excuse me, um, descends or goes down into the drops, the pelvic frequently, pelvis tilts forward, which changes the mechanics. Um, it changes how, you know, the power curve of the muscles. 
Um, sometimes uh, the patient will, or the, excuse me, the cyclist will lean more backwards. The dynamics of what's going on in the spine, for example, a disc herniation or pain from the SI joints or facet joints will uh, impact how the rider is on the bike. So when I'm talking about biomechanical, uh, biomechanics in cycling and kinetic chain, that's what I'm referring to. The integration of movement, all parts of the body um, with movement, all parts of uh, the bike. So I hope that helps explain um, the sometimes complex terms of biomechanics and kinetic chain because I've said them to some of my friends on the bike and they're like, Sonia, can you explain a little bit more carefully? So hopefully that clears some stuff up for you and I look forward to seeing you out on the bike. Bike bold, bike beautiful, and rise to the top.